In this game, I'm going to make a character, get my heart plucked out by a dragon, and then be on a quest to find that dragon to get back my stolen heart. This is Dragon's Dogma 2, and it's a new action RPG. In this video, I'll be taking a look at the first couple of hours of the game, making my character, making my sort of minion companion who's going to follow me around. Had a lot of fun with that one. And you can see if the game's for you, or just come chill out for a couple of hours. If you enjoy this video, make sure you hit like and subscribe for more like it. And if you want more of me, you can find all of my links in the description. Let's begin. Ooh, we partying? We feasting. Dude, braids like that are so cute. When it's like a braid in the hair, it doesn't like hang down like a pigtail. On a guess, lend me your ears. It's not very many people Long for this bigger room. As our favorite man suffered without a true monarch to guide her and her people. Decades have passed since last His Majesty Erland sat atop the Draken throne. Long have we endured, yet it has not been for naught. At last, the bell has tolled on the age of the Consul. At last, we may celebrate the coming of our rightful ruler. The return! Of the sovereign. <laughs> My word, such an inspiring visage. Your Majesty shall have my eternal fealty. Your Majesty, of how long I have awaited this moment. Who is this? Behold, before you sits the rightful inheritor of the Draken Throne, chosen by the dragon as its enemy. Behold a rejoice! Fortune has delivered us our savior at last! At last! Praise be, for only the Sovereign's guidance can lead us true. All hail the Sovereign! All hail! Let all present Pledge your allegiance to the Sovereign. Let us be united in the hope that our legions reign will near end. Long live the Sovereign of Ramon! Long live the Sovereign! Arisen, thou who wouldst slay the dragon, if thou seekest to behold this world in its true aspect, abandon thy reason. Cast aside thine heart and thy life both. I ask thee to demonstrate thy will, for naught but thine ambition can alter the course of the rivers of fate. Just having a little menti bee. Just when you dissociate at a party. That was all a bit much for me. Is, what's this? Am I in jail? Now, which one of you was it? No need to be shy. I've just got to take down a record of your name and face. Come on, step forward. Is this the character creator? Either select a prisoner to use a preset or select the hooded prisoner and customize your character's appearance from a blank slate. Oh, oh that's is cool. Is it you? Oh. No? Mm, it is hard to say. It looks cool. 
I mean, the presets. If the pawn I'm looking for doesn't come forward soon, there'll be trouble for the law. Are you the one then? The pawn. Speak up, you good for nothing pawns. Which of you is it? Well, is it you? No, I'm making my ah, own. Ca it must be. Hey, uh -huh. man. I thought I recognized you. Don't talk so much, okay? Give me a headache. It's a cozy playthrough. Wait, what are you asking me? Yes or no? Yes. Use existing character data? No, because I messed around with that thing because I had a sponsored <laughs> post with them to like advertise the character creator. I, don't give me what I made in there. That would be ridiculous. Um, am I ma I'm making my character now. Okay, so we have a character creator. This character creator is crazy. I've played with it quite a bit um, previously, so... There's a lot that you can do, down to like the individual teeth that are in your head. You can sort of like have tattoos and scars and close one eye more than another and all sorts of stuff. So um, I usually spend quite a lot of time in a character creator. I'm probably not going to show all of that here. Probably going to fast forward through to when I've made it because I do just kind of lock in and like to create myself. Um, so let's do that now. Hello dear, I'm the hero. I'm gonna get the dragon. The dragon took my heart, I'm gonna get it back. <laughs> All right, it's been a while. I've been working away on my character here and I'm just picking the hair and my God, some of these hairstyles, I'm so cute by the way, I'm so good looking. And I'm just trying to pick the hair and it's really hard because I now look so good that so many of these hairstyles just absolutely are killer on me. And it's hard to pick which one to go with. So I thought I would show them all off before I settle on one. Just so you can be like, wow, that one was really nice. And marvel at how great I look. All right, here we go. Morphe, the Archer, Monica, Momo. Because it was a list of names. They, that was the closest thing they had. It was by, as Momo to our friends. Morphe, Momo. And uh, let's do it. That took me ages. I don't. I don't know how it's been. I blacked I out. I think like it's been like two hours. It is clearly brazen for a pawn. What'd you call me? Most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap tis only natural, seeing as how you rise from the dead. There's aught different about you, though. Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? Worry not, vessel. Three days here. And you'll be longing for death's sweet embrace. Come along, you feckless dullards. Okay. Here I am. Getting a first look at myself in the game is always a scary moment after spending forever in a character creator because suddenly you get into the game engine and you're like, oh my god, I look nothing like what I built. But do you know what? Happy with that. Pretty happy with that. Don't look at me that way. I've no need of your pity. Okay. Got anything to spare? Nope. Thunder, thunder, thunder cats. Let's go. Graphics are pretty good. I look pretty good from behind. Hashtag no context. Let's get ourselves out of here. What 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 want to be like a gladiator or something? I'm guessing this could be like the tutorial that'll teach us how to do stuff. Decided to go with an archer just to make it a bit more interesting. I was gonna go with a mage and have her vibe be like witchy vibes. Who doesn't love a good old goth witch? But we're gonna start with the bow and arrow work and then perhaps work our way into magic. Look at this beautiful view. And we'll definitely be picking up some spells. Oh, I just... Dig holes. What do you think you're up to play about? Get a move on! Bum, 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 bum. Just going to work. It's a life sim. I hear the train a-coming. It's coming round the bend. 
And I am seeing the Do sunlight. Your pain you. Pray. Do not over exert yourself. Okay, what was that goblin doing in that tent? This is no place for one of your ilk. Tis harsh beyond measure. Even we pawns are pushed to the brink. What do you know of my ilk? You ought not anger the overseer. Let us proceed to the site. Oh, well, I was proceeding to the site. You interrupted me, son. I was quite merrily on my way. Thank you very much. Let's head down here. Oh, could use a rest. Supper and a night's rest is all time for you to get to work. Why do all overseers always sound like this? Hmm. Time for you to do some work, little one. Pick up a boulder. You are prepared to work. Then you all begin by carrying stones out from the station in the back and bringing them here. Physical 100. <laughs> Quest 2. Carry the boulders. Light my lantern. There we go. We don't use the big light, babe. Get that nice mood lighting. Although I'm not sure how good the light's going to be, you know, from down there. I'm going to look like I'm permanently telling a horror story around the campfire. The is quite cluttered. Pray leap over aught that poses a hindrance to you. It's like my least favorite thing when I'm reading a book on the book podcast is the old language like oa or uh, 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 on before, like, I, I'm like, is it, I never know how to say it, you know, when it's just like ERs and stuff. Gosh, I'm strong, ain't I? Right, where'd you want this? I can jump whilst holding this. Where'd you want this, mate? You just, sorry, I wasn't, I think you just want me to like carry these or something. Da, 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 da. Do I just put them where you've been putting them? Don't look at me that way. I wasn't trying to look at you any kind of way. Goodness. I'll tell you what, you can't say anything these days, can you, without somebody saying something bloody hell. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Overseer. Where do you want your boulders? Anywhere? I do not have had enough of this. I'm going to escape. I've done a little bit of work, and I've decided that it's not for me. Okay? So I'll be leaving now. Hello? I don't like manual labor. I'm not made for this. What was I made for? It wasn't lifting boulders. The best way to find what you seek is to Let me tell you that. Oh, what's this? Oh, a rotten horse bud. Delicious. Don't look at me that way. I've no need of your pity. No one down here needs any pity. That's what I'm learning. A beast's skin. A little bit of um, slowdown in the graphics. A little bit of stuttering, which is literally in a hole. I'm not sure how much it has to render right now, but... Another rotten horse, bud. I'm not going to stress too much about doing the right thing at the right time. This is just a cozy playthrough, after all. Now, in the bottom left, I've got myself a little map, so I'm guessing that means... Get to work, you rotten layabout! Oh. That I want to do stuff in this area, right? Let's see. Oh. I'm doing some work. You better work. I did it. Do it. Maybe I'll follow this guy. This will tell me what to do. Mm, mm, mm. Got to uh, pretend I'm struggling and walk as slowly as the man. We can't have people, you know, being shown up. He may decide to have to cut me down a peg or two if I did that. 
Oh, it's so heavy. It's so heavy. I am so struggle. Why? Why me? A job well done. Ah. Now the next step is to. What is this commotion? Perhaps we ought to investigate. I can only hope to respond as you do when faced with such a commotion in life. What is this commotion? Wow. That is quite a commotion. La Madusa. And that Goku. No, the damn thing's been awoken. You can't fell that fiend, even at the cost of your lives. Not many monsters more terrifying than uh, Gorgon out of those myths to fight. I mean, it's a big old snake lady, and they can turn you to sto if your stone. Draw too near, counter them with well kick. Okay. I guess I'm just pinging away here. With the steady shot. Boulders, and have a front and kick. Ooh, can fancy. Grab objects and throw them. Should I grab? <laughs> Take this, you snake! Oh, sorry. Right, I'll, I'll stick to the. <gasps> Take to stone. When delivering targeted strikes, I would recommend. I would be such a pretty statue, though. Why am I shooting the guy? Sorry. Oh, hello. Okay. Okay. Clinging to a foe. Attack. Ah, oh, stab, 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 stab. Ah. You fool. What are you doing? On the same team. No. Ridiculous. Stuck on the scenery, that's embarrassing. Are you unharmed? You won't flee while you can. After all, your charge awaits you. You cannot linger in this place forever. You have lost your memories. It is surely the work of a foul curse. But worry not. You need only believe in your own destiny, Marissa. Thanks I get for slaying a Gorgon. Come this way. Let us flee. It's just getting ready to enjoy a cutscene. Sheath, draw, grab, switch, weapon, skill. Steady shot. Oh, are we gonna do a jump? Oh, it's like the fugitive. A man with one arm, a man with one arm. Survive a fall from this height. Not even a pawn. 
Good lord. Don't just stand there! Shoot it down! <gasps> Taking our friend with us. Dragon's doggy man. Why is everyone in this world's first inclination to try and kill this thing? Gorgeous opening. It's a griffin, right? Instantly teared up. That's so sad. People are so mean. I didn't think that was actually going to get us. So, that, like, legitimately, like, my eyes are watering. I am that waterfall. <gasps> oh, it's dead. I'm so pretty. <laughs> Every RPG I play, it's just I just make a very pretty person, which like I'm so pretty. Oh no! Great, keep your distance, for Worry not for me. The grind may swallow me whole, but I will not perish. There is a stone not far from here, known as a Rift Stone. Pray, seek it out. If you're truly the Arisen, then our paths will surely cross again. Okay, but honestly, if you're someone I can summon, you don't Oi, feel unique enough for me to bother. Right. I'll be honest with you, dude. What happened here? It's just me during every scene in Baldur's Gate. I'm so good looking. A griffin appears one moment and falls the next. And now you stand before me. Sure. Was it you then? The one who was riding on its back? It is a wonder you survived. Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your story. Do I trust you? Golded Awakening. Did. Thank you for saving me. Beautiful creature. This will be a right mess to clean up. Who knew there'd be a cavern round here? A cavern? A single bolt from a ballista. And well aimed at that. Must be. I'll find who did that, don't worry. I will have my revenge. Ah, 
salubrious draught. Where exactly is this jail you say you escaped from? Anyway, I've never that. heard of such a place. There's certainly naught like that here in Vermont. Could it be you were held in the neighboring country of Batal? Mm. A secret jail. Yes, that's unlikely. We've been estranged from Batal ever since. I'm so war. fast. It is difficult to imagine any citizen of Vermont being sent there. Oh. Fine! Goblins! Let's take up your weapon, sir! Oh, uh, goblin! You'll be needing it! Sir? What is... Okay, switch. Use LB. If you find your strength flagging, imbibe a curative or have a bit of green orange. Ah. When one of the fiends comes in, best guard or dodge, else you'll be sore on the morrow. Oh, the animation's really Make good. Use of the slope. It will give you an advantage against their ranks. Employ guarded attacks to get the enemy to flinch. There are oft items to be scavenged from the bodies of monsters and their ilk. An apple. Where are you going? Um, you told me to check the pockets. Have you beheld the dragon as yet? Dragon? I've not, and I count that a blessing. All I know for sure is that it is a beast ever more fearsome than a griffin. One need only look to the miserable state of the village of Mel to see that. We can but hope the sovereign rid us of their life. I'm still sort of getting used to the combat here. Try my kick. No Look out. When an enemy is flinching, pick them up. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, not the dead one, but. I dare say, Vermin owes much of its prosperity to the sovereigns who have served it over time. Though, personally, I'm just glad to know we've got someone looking out for us. Dude, I don't remember ordering a yappuccino. Do you want to just get us to the village? <laughs> this is a lovely walk. I wish I had more interesting wildlife places to walk and hike near me. There probably is some, but it's hard to like get to. I don't drive, so if it's not if the walk isn't within walking distance, I'm kind of screwed, you know? Welcome, Arisen. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. Oh. What is this? The pawns. They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. My cult. Pray. Come this way. This is how I must be greeted every morning on Bear Island. Before you stands a rift stone. Tis a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross Ur into this world. Tis indeed. Pray, summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you. So I think I get to create a companion now. I don't want to use my existing data. No, thank you. You will now summon your main pan, the loyal companion who will accompany you throughout your adventure. What should they look like? Try to envisage their ex their appearance. Begin with a preset or choose to create from a blank slate. Begin with a, I will begin with a preset. I feel like for my little wiry witch gal, Hmm. Now, oof, I could either have, like, a really big guy, right? That trope, my big friend, my big loyal companion that's going to have my back through thick and thin. Or we could do a little dude like um, Hoggle from Labyrinth. Oh, hard to pick. 
one so full of character, one so sort of tropey and fun. Is there much I can really do with just building a big guy though, without making it too comedic either? Oh, I'm so torn. Let me try and make the hoggle kind of small person and I'll see how I feel about it. Okay, but <laughs> okay, by way of an update. I think this is going pretty well so far. I've been doing this for about 30 minutes or so, making myself a little goblin man to be my hoggle. And pretty happy with how it's going. I've only done the head and the um, body so far. <laughs> it's and uh, it's going pretty well. It's going pretty well. I think this is a perfect companion for my absolutely adorable archer lady. And I realized oh, I totally missed posture when making my woman. Um, but I guess that's okay. Uh, she just walked normally, but you can totally change these up as you wish. Which is, how would he walk? I mean, he's very proud of himself, but he probably would walk like this. Okay. Let's continue. I'm wondering if I should change the hair just because this is giving uh, Blanca from Street Fighter, but there's not many hairs that would suit kind of this style of character, to be honest with you. They're all actually very sort of attractive, normal hairstyles. Even that one is like a, a good hairstyle. It's just the rest are all actually pretty normal. I didn't want to do the typical thing of being bald. I guess he could have that. <laughs> In a different colour, maybe. <laughs> but, um... You know, that's like a bit much. There needs to be something there. Well, it does look... <laughs> it does look good. But I just thought this was a bit had a bit more character to it. You know, especially for like an RPG. But maybe I should um, change the colour of it. I'm really not sure... What would look good though? I feel like, you know, the orange is a pretty good shout, really. It's fine. It's a, I, I just, I didn't want it to like completely feel like a Blanca remake, but I mean, when you look at the body, it's clearly not, right? It's just, well, that's his hair. But in between that or, I mean, that could be fun. The bowl cut. I feel like the bowl cut over the bald, to be honest. <laughs> what would come would it be? I just I don't want it to give old man either, that's the thing. And some of these do, and because I've already got the dark hair, I don't want you to have dark hair. So I think we are actually going to go with the kind of red vibes. Um, just to be slightly different. Or something like that also could work. You can see why I don't show my character creation, because I'm just, you know, it takes me... 20 minutes to pick between hairstyles to be perfectly honest with you um, it's just excessive it really is my decision making is not great mm -mm -mm. honestly I'm going to go with what I had no I've changed my mind 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 there we go Maybe if I make it this colour over the orange, now it's giving less Blanca if we have um, have it be like that sort of vibe instead, yeah. Okay, I think this is pretty good. This is pretty good as a little minion goblin uh, type. We're going to go with this because I've been working on it for a while and it's too late to go back and start making a big boy. But you can get other people anyway. I'm sure other people have made big boys that we can take. Um... I just hope this character is short enough to look short next to my character, because my character is already quite short. <laughs> um, wow, that belly is something. Um, perhaps, let's see, thieves appear as a flash of daggers, too quick for the eye, speed and agility, breaking through the enemy's guard with ease. What'll our goblin be? 
Like, a mage is so useful, but I don't like that outfit. If that's their kind of general vibe, then I'm not for it. Let's go thief. The crouch down style, it just fits, right? A thief and an archer together. Inclination. Ooh, kind-hearted, compassionate, devoted, dutiful, the most obedient sort of pawn. Favors a balanced approach with an emphasis on support, quick to aid allies in need. Rational, shrewd, strategizing, a pawn characterized by caution, favors defense and evasion, clever tactics to survive. Curious, earnest, and adventurous, heart on their sleeve, exploring and gathering items, always up for a challenge. Candid, flippant, and impulsive, a pawn unbound by precepts, enjoys the thrill of combat, tackling fierce foes head-on with daring assaults. Um, yeah, you're a little maniac. But you could be kind-hearted, aiding an ally in need. I feel like you've got my back no matter what. Oh, they have different voices? The people here are evacuated and safe. Well, that's not you. For the, the people here are evacuated. The people here are evacuated and safe. For the people here are evacuated. The people here are evacuated and safe. The people here are evacuated and safe. The people here are evacuated and safe. <laughs> I mean, it could be one of those. Let's just see what the others sound like, though. The people here are evacuated and safe. The people here are evacuated. The people here are evacuated. The people here are evacuated. The people here are evacuated and safe. It's a shame the that the different tones are literally just the same thing, pitch shifted, right? The people here are evacuated and safe. The people here are evacuated it's and safe. For okay, the so moment. it's got to be the um, jaunty guy. There are more who can yet be saved. There are more who can yet be saved. People here are eva- People here are eva- There are more who can yet be saved. There are more who can yet be saved. Ah, oh, my little goblin. It seems the rain has abated. Ooh, that could work. It seems the rain has abated. Oh, I'm stuck between which one to go with. Former Arisen appear to be plentiful in this world. Former Arisen appear to be it's plentiful this one. It's the in this world. Perfect. Your name is Gobbo McClausenstein. Gobbo Clausen-Sherb. Ah, oh, it doesn't, you can't do any more than that. Gobbo Clausen? Gobbo Klaus. <laughs> ah, Gobbo Clausen-Sherb. Oh, I don't know. Gobbo Klaus. Yeah, Gobbo the Goblin. Is there a Gobbo thing? Let's see. Guile. Da, 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 There's no gobbo. Goo, gooky. Is there ginger? Is there gin? Is there a Klaus then? Klaus? Who could be Klaus? That's Klausen. K L. Wait. There's no K Ls. There's no Kl. Okay, what about a Sherb? What am I supposed to call you if they literally don't have your name? Because it's Capcom, all of the Street Fighter names are in here. Just saw Saget there. Um, what was I looking for? Sherb. That's right. It's not here, is it? Shark, Sheba, Shelly. Show. I can't believe there just isn't even one called Gob uh, Goblin or something. They call him Saber. Ago. <laughs> I call him Ago. He likes it. Oh, look, Wesker. Little Resident Evil. Winnie! Winnie the little poo poo. Mm -mm -mm. Yoko. Little Goblin Yoko. That's cute. Babs. <laughs> Goblin Babs. Little bear! You're my little bear. Let's go with bear. Uh, Gobber Klaus goes by bear. Meow, little bear, little bear. Meow, meow. Perfect. God, that took me ages. Oh, here he is! <laughs> oh. 
Oh, what a journey we're about to go on together, This my world friend. is connected to innumerable other realms beyond the rift, which pawns, such as myself, are able to traverse. Okay. My kind is duty-bound to serve you, Arisen, and to use the knowledge we glean in these distant worlds to your benefit. I myself look forward to traveling alongside you and using my experiences beyond the rift to enrich your adventures. Got it. Well, I'll be a pawn summoning before my very eyes. You truly are the Arisen, then. Surely there's <clears throat> only meant to be one Arisen. Fine. This is all beyond my ken. The Watchhead would know what to do, I'm sure. Though, as Luke would have it, he's away. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the Watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like afore then. What? You've no memories, you say? Mayhap you could make for Melv, then. It was set upon by the dragon not long ago. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen, Okay. Mayhap you'll recall aught of it <clears throat> Excuse me. Border Watch Outpost, Northern Watch Encampment. By touching a rift stone, the Arisen can travel to the bridge are twixt worlds, which a great many pawns traverse as they journey beyond the rift. This allows the Arisen to summon pawns who meet their specified preferences. These pawns will not level up while they are accompanying you, however, so you may find that you need to hire new support pawns at regular intervals. Wait. Pawns will not level up when they're accompanying you? Okay. When you bring other Hail, ones, I Arisen. suppose. Pray, ask all you wish to know. <clears throat> I shall answer, if tis within my power to do so. Sure. I would love to just play. Like, it's been a couple of hours and all I've done is make characters and listen to people. Um, <laughs> another time. Very well. May fortune speed you on your way, Arisen. Thanks. Thanks, babe. Right. Off we go then. Off to Melv, so they say. Come, Gobbo Clausen. I enjoy tackling fierce foes, and prefer combat's thrills to gathering items. I am confident, and may act independently. Good for you. You're a strong, independent goblin. Do -do 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 -do. Look, Master, a treasure chest. <laughs> we shall have to find a way to reach it. I love you already. I love you already. A treasure chest? What have you pointed out to me? A chest... In here, yeah. Ah, ah, okay. I think Go we can. Now. You ought at least oh. rest for the evening. There should be a spare bed in the lodgings yonder. Only don't go rushing off before you're ready. Okay. Take it from me. Yonder, lodgings yonder. Oh, <gasps> I'm so spry. Fulgurus Lord. What's that mean? I, like, already love this. The little companion and him talking to me as we go about the place. Amazing. Use inns to save. Hoi there. You seem well tired. Tell you what, you can stay here tonight free of charge. I'll expect coin from tomorrow, mind. Is there anything you less want to hear when you are tired than someone saying, Oh, you look tired. Oof, you look exhausted. Are you all right? So, yeah, thanks. My pa always used to say, there's naught a good night's sleep can't fix. Not much else I can offer, I'm afraid, but you'll find all sorts at a finer inn. Bloody, I thought I was going to get it. It doesn't look very comfortable. Aye, being armed is better than being defenseless, even if you're untrained. Still, it is worth devoting yourself to a vocation if you can. Opens up new doors, it does. You should stop by the inn in Melv if you get the chance. Sure. Staying at an inn fully restores your party's health and stamina. It also recovers the loss gauge, which represents a reduction in your health and accumulates when taking damage. When resting at an inn, you can choose whether to rise in the morning or at night. Useful if you need to set out at a particular time. Foresighted adventurers will stay at inns regularly to avoid risks when travelling far afield. No hard feelings if you prefer it. You shan't hear me complain about an early repose. <laughs> Gulp. 
by. He likes an early night. Right. We slept. And you leveled up. More stamina, health, strength, defense. Okay. Make for Melv. On the morrow. Hello. It is a pleasure to meet you. Sure. Oh, I can hire you. I see. We're okay. We'll see how we go for now on our travels, just the two of us. Hey all. You a soldier? It would be a surprise to see you arrive in one piece if not. Hordes of monsters have been plaguing this area of late, you see. We've had to start sending out new recruits to cull them. Is that so? Who went yonder? Lachlan. But I dare say he'll fare all right. Aye, I expect he will. Who was sent out that way, then? Ocado. To be honest, sir, I'm a little worried for him. What? Weren't harpies reported in that area? The lad can't handle those beasts on his own. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Fie! I want to go to his aid, but we can't just abandon our posts. Say, you seem stout of heart. Would you be willing to go in our stead? It isn't far. You've my thanks. Anacardo's as well, I'm sure. Sure, you want me to save Avocado? Got it. You can select a quest to prioritize from among those you've accepted. If the quest destination is known, a marker will be placed on your map to indicate it. Furthermore, if you have a pawn in your party who possesses knowledge of that particular quest, they'll be able to guide you. Pawns with such knowledge will not offer guidance unless the quest is set as a priority. A warning regarding quest progression. Some quests are affected by the passage of time and will progress even without the Arisen's involvement. Taking on multiple quests at once comes with the risk of being unable to act in time. We ought not dawdle when our aid is sorely needed. Sure. So, I mean, this sounds like one that we have to go straight to because um, someone's in trouble. So I guess that's telling me if we didn't do that, basically that guy would die. Pawn commands. There are four pawn commands that Arisen can use to direct their pawn companions, and effects vary according to circumstances in which they are used, such as when in or out of combat. The best way to get a feel for each command is to observe the response and, of course, action. Go. Instruct them to act independently of the Arisen during combat. Spreading across the battlefield, use to request assistance with carrying out an action. To request guidance to a location, or instruct a pawn to resume guidance that's been interrupted. To me. Instructs pawns to approach the Arisen. During combat, it directs a pawn to fight by my side. Wait. Remain where you are. During combat, it tells them to cease attacking and focus on aid. Help. Prioritize support, healing, and recovery. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the worm, as they say. As they say. I don't know how I'm feeling about the archery. I sort of picked it hoping it would be more interesting than hack and slash, but it just feels like hack and slash from a distance. You know what I mean? Like I'm just hitting a button still. So it's ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. A shame so far. Ingredients are plentiful. Where? Where are the ingredients plentiful? Yeah. Gathered. Right, let's uh, go rescue someone. Goblin Horn. The new adult novel. Um, this way. Bam, bam, ba -da -da -da. Gonna make our way. What was that? The harpies, right? I like how there's stuff from myths. That's cool. Well. Need help, do you, friend? They sing the harpies. Yo, they're like women. They as ladies with wings. Who are you? 
she'll have what? How do I get it, Gobbo? Job. Oh my gosh. You're a little savage. Are you well? Oh! A bunny rabbit! Oh my god. A battle avoided is a battle won, I suppose. Goblin doing work. I'm guessing I have infinite arrows. Is that all of them? Oh, you're avocado. Yeah. You have my thanks. I do not believe for a moment I could have slain those creatures without your help. I've only just enlisted, and when I thought this could be the end of me, I... I was paralyzed. You saved me this time. But I won't always be so fortunate. I'll have to train harder, till I have the confidence to face such beasts on my own. Well, I'd best be heading back. But I'll be sure to let my superior- Okay, bye. Shall we report back now? Let us delve just a little deeper, my goblin friend. Now how do you heal? Because you're carrying a bit of damage by the looks of things. Okay, so it looks like it just goes on the road. Splits off here to go up somewhere. <laughs> Let's see what we have. Perhaps before we go too far, we should do that. What's this? Oh, is this Melv? Ah, uh -huh. Some sort of thing down there. Go to that first. Perhaps up over this hill. Wow. Looks like it's more that way than where we were going. It is about time we pressed on, wouldn't you say, Master? Master? I picked the perfect voice. What's that? Oh, there's a pig having a sleep. And then what's this bug? Do I maybe hit it or do I collect it? Ah, just a beetle. It is rather valuable, this. Is it? I'll we'll leave the pig be. And looks like it's over this bridge. Come, goblin. We see what waits. How do I tell you to heal? We are gonna like give you potions. I suppose I ought to mention this as well. Would it not Mention what? It's so annoying. It's like when someone says, Oh, I gotta tell you, and then they forget. And they're like, Oh, I can't remember what I was gonna say. It's like Think. Behold the state of the village. It is a sorry sight indeed. The dragon truly is calamity incarnate. Mayhap a walk through the streets would help jog your memory. I wish when I was the taller. When appears, so too does the dragon. I wish I it was taller. It is an baller. immutable truth of this world. I wish I had a girl. If I did, I would call her. Pity hmm? Well met. Dudley. You're a Pleasure trader. doing business with you. Do 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 do. A little bit of ski low there for you. For the nineties, kids, you know.
That's so cool. Is this me? <gasps> I look good in a new outfit. Men forward. I have made it through. I'll teach this creature a lesson. Ah, a knightly pedicure. This isn't working. There must be another way. Perhaps I will climb. Yes. Will climb the dragon. This is so insane. Hold fast, men. I have experience. dragon looks amazing they've given it real weight you know like it feels impactful can you hear me sir sir stay with me So I saved her, which deemed me worthy in the dragon's eyes. Perhaps to take my heart and make me arisen. Thank goodness. How are you feeling? All the better for seeing you, my love. This is the second time I've watched over you like this, isn't it? You've been watching me sleep. The second time, you say? Would you be creeped out if someone watched you sleep? I guess it depends how well you know them. <laughs> Let's say, you know, you're an item. Okay, you're an item. And they wa they like to watch you sleep. Are you like, oh, that's nice. Or are you like, that's creepy, dude. Why are you watching me sleep for? I'd, I mean... <sighs> I'd probably find it a little creepy at first. But if it was in an adoring way and then they reassured me that they just want to, like, adore me whilst I sleep, I'd be like, all right. You do not remember? Then have you forgotten that you protected me from the dragon's flames? You withstood the fire in my stead and were well and truly charred. It was terrible. I had thought your life forfeit. Mm. I could not hear the beating of your heart. You hung on, and by some miracle, survived. I seem to have become arisen. Arisen? 
I'm afraid I don't understand your meaning. <laughs> ah, I see. I thought that was common terminology around here. Perhaps when I wake up I shouldn't, whilst lying in the bed, talk of being arisen. Does it have aught to do with why you were taken to the castle? They said twas so that your wounds could be treated. Though I fear you have no memory of this either. Nay. I am of the Border Watch. Someone with arisen like abilities came to this village poorly in tow. No you ought of this. She just said she didn't know about being arisen. We are to part so soon then. Mayhap you will visit me again someday. Till then. Take care. I feel like I deserve a hug for the road, you know. Got a long ah, road ahead of me, but only a goblin for company. One. You match my soldier's description. I'm glad I found you. The ruler of Vermont, currently convalescing in the capital, became arisen here in this very village. If you claim the same, then word must be borne to the capital. I dispatched a missive before coming here. Though I doubt the matter can be settled without your presence. Would you be willing to accompany me to the capital? If you truly are arisen, you will be received with open arms. Oh, but forgive me. I scattered my soldiers in a bid to find you. I would not depart without them. We shall have to wait till they are reassembled. Come to think of it, Sir Leonard was asking after you as well. Mayhap now would be a good time to speak with him. Mayhap. Last I saw, he was having a drink at the inn. Mayhap he was. Mayhap. Who might have the answers we need? Uh, shall we ask around? Mayhap we shall. Um, enter. Let's see. Is this a store? I like that the doors just open. Well met. You're the one who saved Ulrika's life, aren't you? She told me all about it. It was a very brave thing you did. I'm in your debt. Ulrika's as good as my daughter. Here, consider this a small token of my gratitude. Now, tell me, are you registered with a guild? Perhaps you already know this, but registering with a guild will grant you access to specialized training, which comes in very useful when pursuing a vocation. Well now, that won't do. You need only speak with the innkeeper to register. Go on, it will only take a moment. If there is aught you wish to know of vacations, mayhap I can mayhap advise you. Drink every time they say mayhap and you'll be paralytic within ten minutes. Um, mages? It is a vacation for those who seek to master the mystical arts. Magic. Mages can cast a wide array of offensive spells. However, the more powerful the spell, the longer one must spend in counting it. Thus, a mage is unlikely to last long on the field of battle without okay. allies to protect them. Decline the offer? Well, I mean, I have asked. There's others. Should you dedicate yourself to a vocation, you will find that new paths to master will open up to you over time. Try them as you like. Okay. Very well. There is no wrong choice in it. But I shan't take up any more of your time. The Maester's Teaching. The Maester's Teaching is the most powerful skill that can be acquired by each vocation. Learning a Maester's Teaching requires the use of a special tome, which you will receive if you impress the vocation Maester with your abilities. The true potential of this skill can only be realized by those whose vocation rank is high. Newfound strength courses through you. It is good to see. You learned of the various available vocations and leveled up. I hmm, see. I should probably like pick up fighting to go alongside my archering, but maybe I'll just go full range and see how it goes. Definitely haven't been enjoying the archery so far. Got to be honest. The combat's weird. What's down here? beautiful view for one this ladder can take us to new heights what ladder what ladder do you speak of goblin 
see no ladder. Hmm? Do you jest? Perhaps. So this is where you've been. Come with me to the village entrance. The watchhead's waiting for you. A simple conversation oft reveals what a week of searching never could. Whom shall we speak with first? Whatever it is, I'll have to hear it another time. Whatever it is, air on side of caution. Cute little village. I, um... I've usually lived in villages, but they're not like this. Some of you may think that merry old England is like this. And mayhaps it is in places far, far away on the rural reaches. Um, my family moved out to the country. Moved out to the country not too long ago, and it's in bloody middle of nowhere, let me tell you. Proper little village it is. But I live in more like city villages, I guess. Town villages. Very quiet, though. I can go for a walk and see nary a soul on my travels on a quiet day. Ah, you've returned. Good timing, too. I have questions for you. First and foremost, will you accompany me to the capital? My thanks. Are you ready to depart, or do you need some time to prepare? Um, sure. Good. Then let us be on our way. Bum, ba, bum, 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 bum. Jogging. I'm glad everyone jogs, so we're not walking. Do you want to be great? Mounts. Can we get some horses? Why does no one have horses in this world? You're a goblin. Ah. Protect me. No mercy. This is the last one. I can hear another one. Ow! Debilitators. Negative statuses that affect range from inflicting damage at steady intervals to make it. Yeah, you know what a debilitator is. I like it. Ranked up my archery. I'd be caught unawares. I am shamed. It's <laughs> the real hero of this. Very glad that I went with a goblin type over a brute. Come on. Aim up there, sweetie. Gobbo! You're injured. How do I heal you, bud? Speak your will, and I'll see it's done. I want you to heal. Matters of import. Where to next, Arisen? I'm oh. I enjoy tackling fierce foes, and uh, you are in good health, I trust, Arisen. How do we heal you? How do I, like... I must have an inventory, surely. Ah. Good, 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 good. Ah, yes, Globo Klaus. There you are. Perhaps these... Ah, recover a small amount of health. Right. I will eat the apple, and I'm going to give these to you. All my apples. And you will... Can I tell you to eat them? Maybe you have to do it yourself, a bit like a sim. But if I give you stuff, maybe you'll do it. Ah, 
Haarspud. Is that all I have in the way of healing? Uh, recover a fair amount of health. Ah, well, if I give you that. Will you use them? Yes. You are doing something. I worked it out, so I'm so proud of myself. The Arisen is the lawful ruler of Vermin. So it has always been. To claim the title, to claim the throne, yet... Hey. Our kingdom sees many contenders, and they are not built like you. There's total in one of them. Regardless, you would do well not to invite my mistrust on our journey. The harpy's got some, uh... Big, um, Wings. Haven't they? Oh, can you not fall up there? I'd like to finish. Come on. Whoa. Get <laughs> Awesome. Oh. Oh, stamina or something? Prepare yourself. What's the matter with me? Reinforcements? Would if we had such resources? My god, we can hide little high fives. I love that. That was so cool. That's my favorite moment so far. Pretty place. Shame about all the monsters, isn't it? This is my kind of vibe. Places like this, big mountains, valleys, hills. Big fan. Hold here a moment. I shall bid them open the gate. Right you are. Who's that you've brought with you, Watchhead, sir? An arisen, by all appearances. An arisen? Another pretender, you mean? I see the Sovereign's ascension has done little to stop such charlatans from plying their trade. Tis uncertain. This one commands the loyalty of the pawns. What? Impossible. You know as well as I do that there can be but one arisen, and he's up in the palace. I'm well aware of how preposterous the idea is, thank you. However, as I do not believe it my place to rule on such a matter, I would make my report to the capital. If the claim is false, we will be rewarded handsomely for our trouble. If the claim is true, however, who can say? Where's Gobbo? All's been arranged. Come, let us pass through the gate. Very well. Sorry, I was trying to move forward. I didn't realize I had to click through the conversation. It's interesting that there's no dialogue choices or anything, but... I'm not mad at it. It's not bothering me. Having still playing, be, being playing through a Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough, I'm happy to play something that doesn't have dialogue options and choices for once. Like, I'm fine with that. Especially since unless you're going to do it to that An scale, anything else is going to feel like a step down now. It is nowhere in sight. Or may have befallen it. Best we press on. Okay. Pressing on. 
Come on, Gobbo. Did you use all of the stuff I gave you? Let's see. Did. Wow, and it didn't even heal you up. Okay. So we're going to have to... Um, do you have more stuff? Got a book that invokes a lightning spell. Can I, like, equip that? A grimoire that casts a spell upon being read, usable even by those incapable of magic. Is it a one use? I think it is. Okay, save it for now. I was literally about to try and equip it and probably would have just cast lightning down on everyone here. What's your favorite type of place if you're going somewhere to kind of relax? A beach? The woods? Valleys? Is everyone all right? As he just gets taken out by a stag. More marks of the dragon's fury. Its rampage must have weakened the earth here. Um, a lake. I like water too. I like being by um, ponds and rivers. I and see stuff. not even the Arisen could resist my charms. Sorry? Ah. Oh, I can hire you. For nothing, apparently. Travel together for a day and a night to get a Wakestone Shard. Oh, and like, you're someone, someone has created you. Interesting. So we can see who you've been made by. Ah. I don't know if you're going to like replace mine though. So someone can like bump into Gobbo in their world and hire him. <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm playing this before it comes out, so I wonder any any pawns that I'm seeing must be made by content creators or people reviewing the game. More foes. I can scarce feel my arm from the last Or I wonder if it's uploaded already people's character creator stuff. I wouldn't assume so. From the demo. Because I had to like give it permission to be online. Get away! Get him! Quite a lot of these goblins about. Don't worry, I've got the range, boys. Looting's pretty annoying. I already know some of you are going to have been screaming like, You didn't loot all those bodies! I dare say the cart shan't be traversing this. Onward! Might await us on the road ahead. Harpy is a good insult, isn't it? To call someone. Be gone, harpy. Come on, speed it up. Whoa. I feel bad. There's all the guys that was meant to be with us. Right. 
I'll be needing a tall muck of ale to recover from that blood. Take a wrong turn. <gasps> it killed a deer. running up here. Mm -hmm. How are you supposed to deal with these if you're a fighter or something? I guess you'll have to, like, throw stuff. Pretty good shot. if you fall and I don't want to find out my friend ah oh, yes gathering stuff that I will never use because I very rarely dabble in crafting ever in any kind of game let's be real now but I do like to grab random stuff oh yes I do we need to get you to an inn I'm going to assume we're very close and we shall soon be able to sleep. No easy thing, a oh. So and buy you a bunch of health potions. Hesitation bogs you down, but it needn't. Your journey's just begun. Walk it proudly, and you'll do just fine. Thank you. It's a little bit of midweek motivation. Can we rest? <gasps> If the Arisen has a camping kit to hand, they can pitch their tent by the remains of a campfire found at set spots throughout the wilderness. Much like staying at an inn in town, resting at a campsite restores the party's health and stamina and recovers the loss gauge. Adventurers who seldom return to town should be sure to keep a camping kit in their packs. Camping affords the opportunity to grill the meat, granting a boost to certain stats upon consumption. For setting up camp, prudent to eliminate foes lurking nearby. It heightens the chance of an ambush while it's at your most vulnerable. Oh, don't have a camping kit. Well, onward. Can't be far now, surely. Hmm. What is this? Is blocked. What's this? We're trapped. Oh, what are we hearing? Oh. Oh. I, a cyclops. Let me jump. To think we'd encounter one here of all places. A cyclops. Pray, be on your guard. Oh. I'm gonna eat someone. Gobbo, get down from there. Oh my gosh. Careful, Gobbo, you have like no health. Careful. 
Oh, my stamina's gone. Power flow stumbles. Just one more push in order to bring it down. Get him! Yeah, <laughs> just... Jeez, what are you, a barber? What are you cutting away his trim? Whoa, hold on. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Shadow of the Colossus style. Out. You'll not live to regret this. I can't move. Oh. Well, that was a bad idea. Load from last set. Don't tell me this takes me back to the inn. How far back is this going to go? I was just trying to have fun climbing the Cyclops' head. I could have just stayed back and picked it off. Where are we? Okay, we're just here. Phew. I suddenly was having flashbacks to like the old days when no game saved on their own, and so you would play until that happened, and then you might go back three hours, and it, and you would just be you know, I've distraught. I've gathering items, and am ever on the hunt for new finds. I'll gladly try out any useful mechanisms I espy. Oh yeah, look, this is someone's as well. Okay. I love that people are just gonna find... Gobbo. We're trapped! Think we'd encounter one here of all places. I'll keep my distance this time. The Cyclops, break me on your guard. Just take it in slightly. What is that move? A butt splash. Whoa! I thought he was going to throw that right at me then. I don't seem to have like a... Wait, I'm trying to get away. Oh. So wait, I can look at you and I can say green warish times one. Princess Harspud. Like I can give you items mid-combat I think? I'm not sure. I wonder if there's more to, like, drawing the bow for longer. Um, please stay back. Get him! Surely gotta be more. Wait, where are you aiming, sweetheart? Oh, I just realized my PlayStation. <sighs> it's doing the thing, like, that's me moving the controller. It has that sort of weird aim thing. I'm playing this on PC. I didn't even realize it could do that through PC. That's why it's sometimes going a bit haywire. that? That was cool. Can we use this? <gasps> ah! Uh-oh. Where'd the barrel go? Take that. Uh, throat. Nope. Ah! 
<laughs> uh, surely it's gonna. Why are you? Why are you into me? Leave me alone. Oh. Okay. Ah. Probably not the best that it was in the water, but. First boss. I had not thought you need to heal so badly. Can I like give you items? Mid battle. What says health? Have all these berries. Come on. A mighty leap. Come on, climb, climb, climb. Got a lot of health, this one. Judged you. I had taken you for another false arisen. Goodness knows we see a lot of them. Yet the value you showed in coming to our aid has dispelled such thoughts. Here, take this as a mark of my trust. Give it to one of the sentinels stationed at the gates to the capital, and you'll be granted an audience with Captain Brandt. You're free to make your own way to the capital now. I see no need to keep you under constant watch. And I'm sure you'll breathe a little easier as well. Of course, if you'd rather continue to accompany us, you are still welcome to join us on the Oxcart. It is your decision. Imagine how that Cyclops would have smelled just burning away there in the background. Poor guy. And his misshapen eye. And his rugged bone. Our first uh, giant beast. Consequence, but by my eye, you lack surety in your step. Not to worry, you'll find your feet in time, I'm sure. I guess not counting the Gorgon. I lack surety in my step, apparently. So yeah, sorry. When it's when I'm when it's like this, I'm moving my controller in the air, and that's affecting it. So I'll find a way to turn that off. I think. Since I don't know. Who, who would ever play a game and aim with that? That's insanity. Ah, here's the cart now. Do you intend to join us? Sure, I'll, I'll ride. Very well. Board the ox cart and we'll be off. Sounds like fun. Are plentiful hereabouts. Rather than, uh. on foot. Quite enough of the goblins and harpies around here for now. Can we sit? Or, ah, right, sit. Come, goblin. Unless you wish to walk. I have the option to get up and jump off or to doze off. I don't know why Gobbo is choosing to walk, but so if I click doze off, I guess we just Goblins! What rotten luck! Oh. We've need of your aid again, sir. Very well. Why do they call me sir? Like, is everyone a sir? Did I I, did I, I thought I I guess I just picked a preset, but Am I not a lady? Or is Sir gender neutral? Oh, what was that one I'm hearing? A bit dark. I'm a bit full. 
Seems we drove them off. You've my thanks for aiding us. Vernworth isn't far from here. Will you join us? The All right. Into the ox. Once again. The following morning. Did he look younger at the beginning, or am I misremembering? I was informed of your coming would be arisen. Captain Brandt, this individual summoned a pawn through a rift stone. Several witnesses can attest to it. Though I admit I had my doubts at first. It would seem this is no mere deceiver. This one's not a bad sort. Saved our hides on the way here. As decreed by the great will of our world, there can only be one arisen. That arisen now resides within the palace. Indeed. He is our sovereign and the rightful ruler of Vermont. It follows, therefore, that this ruffian before us is naught but a pretender. You must submit to questioning. If you value your life, you will not attempt to flee. I shall conduct the interrogation myself. Stand watch outside. Very well. I beg your forgiveness for my insolence, Your Majesty. Oh? If the Queen Regent had learned of your existence, I fear your life would have been in peril. Ah. I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender, lest my actions draw suspicion from watchful eyes. So they know that their ruler is the real charlatan. I don't understand. Then you have truly lost Dialogue your options. In that case, may I, I ought to explain the situation before we proceed? You. And no other are the sovereign, the only legitimate ruler of this kingdom. Some days passed, you confronted the dragon in the village of Melv, whereupon you became arisen. The people rejoiced, for our true liege had finally appeared, and in Vermont's long years of council rule, yet not all celebrated your coming. A few months prior. Your arrival would have robbed the Queen Regent Deesa of everything. During the time of the previous council, she acted as a queen in her own right, ruling the palace as she saw fit. Mm. And just after the council's passing, when twas all but certain that her son would take his father's place, word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. To Deesa, your Majesty's very existence is naught but an obstacle to her own family's continued prosperity. I'm Kate Middleton. The assassination of the Arisen is an impossible feat for mortal hands. I'm Princess Diana. <laughs> Where am I? Thus, Deesa chose to abduct your Majesty while you recovered from your wounds in order to rob you of your memory with a fell curse and sell you to Batal as a slave. Following that, she prepared a replacement to serve as the sovereign in your stead. A mere puppet. However, with your majesty returned, I have no intention of twiddling my thumbs as Deesa plays her games. Okay. I shall devise some plans to further our cause. Pray, visit me a night in a tavern that we might discuss them. Cool. The plot thickens. Curiouser and curiouser, Alice. This one's cleared of all suspicion and has my permission to remain in the capital. You are to trouble the good sir no further. Are we clear? 6,000 gold and more levels. What's this? 
both for Mund and Batal regard the scourge of the dragon as a matter of the utmost priority. Should the baleful creature alight on either side of the border, both nations are sworn to provide aid, as well as to assist in the evacuation of the populace and with scouting missions as needed. In such an event, all troops are expected to put aside any disagreements of faith or culture and devote themselves wholeheartedly to their duty. Can I save anywhere? I can. Cool. What's that? Pray forgive me. I'm in a bit of a hurry. <laughs> Timothy Chalamet. Concern it. Get back here. Hmm. You there? Did you see an urchin in a cap run past just now? Can you tell me which way he went? Uh, nope. Many thanks. I'll catch that wretch yet. You're a kind one, aren't you? Twould seem I am in your debt. In fact, there's aught I would ask of you if you've the time to spare. Aha! There you are! Oh, apologies, but our chat will have to wait. Till next we meet. Farewell. All right. Goodbye, Archin. Da da da. Hello. I grow restless when I do the same thing all along. Right. Why do you have the voice of a small child? <laughs> Terrifying. Where are you guys running to? Oh, hello. <laughs> Why do I feel like you're judging me? Ah, uh, saw you lying to the peri, peri there. Yes. Why would I help them catch an urchin? Uh, what business is it of yours? Tell you what, it's a little bit laggy, the performance. As we load in all of this village. Mm -mm. Running on a pretty beastly machine. Though slightly dated now, I do need to perhaps get a new one at some point. But I have a good graphics card. But, um... I probably need to update my drivers. I haven't updated them for a minute. Around the kingdom. So where are we going here? What's this? A hand. What does that mean? A pawn guild. Hmm. It's very bare in here. You need some more uh, furniture, mate. You just. You got a giant rock in the room and then just a sad little table over there. What are you doing? Oof, man, the frames are not good here. Oh, what's this? I heard a rumor that this land was once a kingdom of beastrons. An inn? Okay, do we need a sleep? You look a little bit rough. Perhaps we should. The solution well met. You are come to Shakir's Inn, a place of respite for the weary traveller. Shakira, Shakira. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the foremost hospitality in all Vernworth. 2,000 gold, good lord. We'll rest till morning. You shan't hear me complain about an early repose. That's probably a lot, and I have a camp kit, but let's just do it, because, you know, you would, after arriving, weary to a city, wouldn't you? Are you watching me sleep? Gobbo. do be weird. Uh, you returned from a rift. The purse strings of this Arisen were tight indeed. The Arisen was forever lugging around a heavy pack. The Arisen achieved little, though not for want of trying. What? I get a diary, which is, like, written from the stuff that I did. My purse strings are tight. I'm lugging around a heavy pack. And I achieved little? Dude, why does this read like a report card that's saying, must try harder? The Arisen achieved little, though not for want of trying. Wow. All right, dude. I get a gift. I get a fish and some powder. From who? Who is this? Gift giver. <gasps> From Arisen in Other Worlds? Wait, people have been using Gobbo? 
people have been using Gobbo and they give him gifts that I then get? What? That's so funny. Look, these people. Lucrecia, Hayabusa, Ryoma, are, are characters or people that have been using Gobbo. That's so funny. What? He traveled from with other people. Request for other players. Huh? What? I can tell them to try and do something with him. Oh, 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 no, I don't want to give them all of my gold. So if someone defeats a Cyclops with my guy, they get 69 gold. <laughs> it is a relief to be home. Let us just say that not all Arisen are quite like you, Master. I know. You're very lucky. Shall we hunt a few monsters to start the day off? What are they mean to you? I just love that people have met you on the road and have recruited you. That's amazing. Alright. Oh, a ladder. Let's see what's on the roof, shall we? Mm -mm -mm. Oh! Ah! Gobbo Klaus, Gobbo Klaus. Everybody loves Gobbo Klaus. Well, what's the point of this? Maybe I'm meant to go to another roof? Huh. Huh. Yes! Goodies. I am Assassin's Cred. Boots. It's a great treasure, but of little use to us. You got a sword? Got a fairy stone? And a seeker's token. There are 240 of these tokens scattered across the land, hidden in all sorts of out of the way and unexpected places. Bring them to a guild hall. You receive special rewards. And as your collection progresses, leave no stone unturned. Must finding these be so difficult? I agree. Can I put these new boots on? Savant boots. Um, so if I put those on, I'm going to get better stuff. Mm -hmm. Do I have boots on at the moment? Where is feet? Ah. Ah. Is it going to change my pants? Equip. Equip? Why can I not equip? Hmm. Not sure why I can't equip this. I can take my pants off. But I can't put the other ones on. Hmm? I'm not seeing, like, any sort of requirement here that's telling me why I can't. Confused. Maybe it's only for certain people. Ah, 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 I see. I think it's that, um, the little buttons here. It's for mages and, um, whatever that is. The blue one. It's not me, basically. I see. Bum, 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 bum. Well, me being full, I suppose I should go to a shop and sell some things. It's talking about me having a full pack, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's the best way down without breaking my neck. Over here. Perhaps. There we go. And it. Oh, okay. I was going to explore more rooftops, but that's fine. What's my mission right now? They've told me I'm allowed to be here, right? Quests. I should have gone back and reported back about Avocado's fate. Anyway, speak with Captain Brent in the tavern a night. At night time. So I shouldn't have slept. Damn it. <laughs> 
that's what I get for taking a break between playing this game. I finished that stuff and then I went to sleep since it was like four in the morning. And I've woken up and continued and I kind of forgot where I was, I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, the Vocation Guild. Hello, mate. Greetings. Welcome to the Guild Hall. Here, we conduct all manner of procedures pertaining to vocations. If there is aught I may assist you with, simply say the word. I have a token. Have you found any of the items we discussed, perchance? Perchance I have, mayhap I do. Okay. I got a fairy stone. Ah, so if I get five, I get a ring. If I get 15, I get a ring. If I get 30, I get a spike. Sure. Acquire skills. All the manner of vocational procedures can be carried out in the guild hall of a vocation guild. If you've unlocked a vocation, you can change to it at any time. Unlocking new vocations requires discipline. Each vocation trains different skills. You'll be able to learn new skills as you rank within your as your rank rises. Learn skills requires discipline core skills employed from the moment they're acquired. Special abilities augments are acquired by spending discipline. Sure. So I have quite a lot of DCP, my discipline points. And we can acquire other things. So if I want to, I can change. I might try the fighter out, honestly. It's only a hundred to unlock. And but before I like switch, maybe I should have some extra bow moves. Oh, 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 oh. Just to see. Fire a loaded arrow that adheres to foes or terrain. Explodes after a time, tarring the target and those who draw near. A tarring shot. Okay. A loaded arrow, an exploding arrow. So if we equip that. Oh, there's like a sniper shot. A dire arrow knocks down smaller targets. Sweep shot. In a wedge pattern, multiple targets struck simultaneously. Okay. And I guess the big knockdown one. And we'll try this before I... Ah, hang on. What have we got here? Core skills. Deliver a weighty kick. Leaping punt. While performing a running jump. Fire an arrow while leaning back. Whoa. Knock arrows more quickly. I mean, that would be good for us. Increase damage dealt by your attacks when targets are not in battle stance. And I can even unlock stuff for you, and you have your own DCP. Blend into the surroundings. I wonder how much you would actually use that. Okay, so let's give you some stuff. Oh, that looks fun. So you can do what you need to. Let's give you that. These look great. And... Bum, bum, bum. Powder charge. An explosive on the ground. I wonder how smart you'll be with this stuff. I mean, you are a goblin, so I'm going to give you all the boom booms, and then we'll see what happens. Scarlet kisses, a flurry of forward slashes, bump and lift. I mean, that just sounds like. So what is this? Forgive me, but I'm afraid we are not accepting registration for warriors or sorcerers at this time. Ah, it's given me fighters' clothes. You see, as we currently have no archer staves or great swords on hand, we are unable to outfit new members, and we cannot simply purchase more. As the delivery of arms intended for the local armory and other guilds in this domain was plundered by goblins. So regrettably, I cannot assist you. Unless you were to procure a weapon yourself then. Let me see. What else can I tell you of our guild? Methinks Roderick, he runs the local armory. And may fortune smile upon you, sir. Okay, man. We know what we're looking for, but not where it is. I suppose there's naught for it but to start searching. So I'm encumbered right now. 
and it said I have a storage. I, how do I? <sighs> Goodness me! For all of the talking they do, it's still a bit overwhelming, isn't it? I feel like they haven't taught me much. How do I like put stuff into storage? Maybe I can just do it directly from here. By weight. So like foot soldier armor. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I'm gonna give this too far to pass, I think. Come here, goblin. Goblin. Come. Goblin. Gather round, gather round. Treat your ears to a tale by a master storyteller. Oh yeah, you're gonna play the latest episode of Should Down to Sleep, the podcast of softly spoken bedtime stories and audiobooks that's on Spotify, YouTube, and everywhere you get podcasts, narrated by me, because that I would stop for. Hello, sweetheart. I hope the day is treating you well. I hope the life is treating you well. Welcome to Bjorn's Armory. You'll find only and quality is what you need if you want to survive. Okay, so we want to sell stuff. Going by weight. Highest. I guess I'll sell these Savant boots. Since they are for whatever that is. And I don't think it's anything that either of us are. You know, they look like pretty good armor. That's what's the shame. Here. Um... But we gotta empty stuff out. Ah, <sighs> I mean, I don't know what to do with that armor because if I want to try fighting out, then I need to wear it. But I don't know how to store stuff. Even if I sold all of those, I'd still be encumbered. Um, but, um, okay, so I'm only you very price, heavy. Just hope to see you again. Goblin, where are you? He's like stuck up there. I can see his little arrow going crazy on the minimap. I wish for you to carry my things, Goblin. I'm not trying to uh, moody walk right now, I'm just encumbered, so it's moving me like this. Mm, 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 mm. Oh! Use of a fairy stone will instantly transport you to the location of a port crystal. Port crystals are permanent fixtures in cities and towns. Uh, you may use up to- you may have up to ten port crystals placed at various locations. Goblin, where are you? On, have a look. Where are you? I can see you on the map. Are you on the roof for some reason? Huh? What? Gobbo! What are you doing up there? <laughs> How did you get up there? Come on. Come down from there. I can't, master. I'll hurt my ankles. Come on, just jump down. There's a ladder over on this side. Wait, maybe I can, like, throw things up to you. Maybe this is close enough. Goodness. There we go. Carry these for me. Good lad. Okay. Still heavy. Perhaps you can carry this and these. Yes. The camping kit weighs so much. I guess I'll be heavy till I use that. Right. 
quest. Quest is visit the Star Drop Inn. Uh, you need to procure your own weapon, obtain a thing or a great sword. Well, that'll just happen when it happens. That's fine. Okay. I'd like to sort of get this going and get back out, just because the frames are like not great here at all. It's a bit of a shame. Um, I think it needs to be night time. Welcome to the Star Drop Inn. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup to start you off? I will pass the time for free. Always a pleasure. Anyone here? Dare I presume I've caught your eye? Yes. Welcome. Welcome to the we serve all manner of fine ales here. I will pass more Shall time. I you a cup? Always a pleasure. The passage of time. Time is an ever flowing river in this world. The activities and behaviors of its inhabitants reflect this. People are unlikely to remain in the same place all day long and may appear only in the morning, at night, or at midday. To pass the time, you can either stay at an inn or make use of one of the special seats found outdoors in set locations. Come nightfall, you'll be able to see no further than the ground at your feet. The onset of darkness summons fearsome monsters not seen by day. Explore the wilderness after sunset at your own peril, and be sure you have a lantern in your pack. Some items that can be gathered will change over time. Ooh. Ooh, fruit ripens, grows more flavorful, and can go rotten. Wow. Certain objects and structures can be destroyed by your attacks. Regenerate. Fruits, berries, and flora grow back. That's cool. Hello, mate. I've been waiting for you. Your Majesty, your timing is impeccable. I know. I just thought to call for you. It is not a matter for prying ears. Pray, let us speak out here. Sure. Where is your goblin friend? Um, still on a roof somewhere, even though I've spent all day here. As I informed you when Sorry. last we spoke, the palace is filled with the Queen Regent's sycophants. Should Deesa denounce your majesty as a false arisen, few would elect to doubt her. Yet if we are to prove your identity, I believe there is no occasion more suitable than the coronation. It was delayed so that the sovereign that is, the false arisen, could convalesce in the palace, but the date has now been set. The central players in the court ought all be in attendance. It would be a fine opportunity to display your majesty's power. None would be able to deny that you are the true arisen then. There is a problem, however. We're gonna gate crash a coronation? Entry to such an event is only select members of the nobility and citizens who have contributed greatly to Vermont's continued prosperity will be granted entry. If your majesty is to be counted among them, you will need to attend to a number of tasks. Pray, allow me to summarize them for you. Just sneak me in. So I have to do stuff. The citizenry have called upon my soldiers to cull monsters that plague the land. I dare say, it would be a fine contribution were you to accomplish these tasks or needed. What say you? Might I ask for your corporate? I thank you, Your Majesty. The okay, so I've got to go three places to kill some monsters. To the north, the mine, half village, the goblins, west of Burnworth. Saurians. I believe soldiers have already been dispatched. Finally, there is a call for someone to locate a group of soldiers tasked with delivering freight. Okay. It is our duty to bring the beasts low. We'll I will see naught but success on the path that lies ahead. Deal with some monsters then. Bum ba bum. Uh, I suppose we shall have to pass time Welcome till to morning. The star in. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Since it seems to be dark out. Is it still night time? Oh. Just very Welcome excited to, to be passing time in here. here. Shall I pour you a where you serve all manner of fine ales, I'm sure. 
Okay, that looks like daylight. Yes, let's go. Okay, let's set that quest as priority for monster culling. Hmm. Oh, okay. Set as priority. Now, on my map, where is that? Ah, over there. So we're going to go up, out of here, and left. And there's one just up ahead. Gather round, gather round. Treat you. What did you think of that story? Sorry? It was well told and all, but not particularly exciting, eh? I mean, it's the sort of thing you hear bandied about the tavern every other night, isn't it? I'd heard tell of a beggar doing well for himself, so I came out here to learn his ways. Haven't learned much, that's for sure. And by the look of it, he doesn't appear to be making much for his efforts, neither. So where's all his coin coming from, then? Keep an eye on the beggar. Gather round, gather round. Treat your ears to a tale by a master storyteller. Mm. And should my story entertain you? Nay, even if it shouldn't, I would greatly appreciate a coin or two to soothe my throat with a mug of ale. Now, listen close, as today I shall tell of a serpent with powers most... Am I going to have to listen to this whole story? Our hero ventured into a shrine long enclosed, whereupon he found serpent and soldiers... Oh, I thought the statue was broken, but look, that's how it's meant to be. Like, they've taken the head of the dragon off. That's cool. Unease overtook him, so behind a pillar he crept. Aye, got some coin to spare your humble story. Hundred gold? No. What would you of me? I'll have no trouble, thank you. Um, I don't care. Right. Sorry, coming through. So we want to go over the bridge. We came in. Wow. Sorry. There you are, Gobbo. You've joined us again, Goblin. I'm gonna assume it's out this way. Look at this. Look at that view. Let's check the map. Okay. Well, we'll go towards this one. We're on this side of the city, and it looks like a nice place to adventure, doesn't it? Through the farms. How you doing? This work is like to break an old woman's back. Well, should have paid attention in school. What can I say? Bamba. Running through f fields of wheat. Shortcut through the farm. Just letting my hand go through it. Like Maximus Stimissimus Meridus Mikikovus. I think I'm allergic. I started panting quite heavily there. That or I really like wheat. There's the capital that we were just in. I mean, it's pretty big. No wonder the frames were garbage in there. Chicken. Come, goblin. Adventure awaits. We're monster hunters now. Witches, if you will. Fond of stealing apples. Don't mind me, Mr. Farmer. I need these to cleanse the world. Looks like this is a bit of a dead end. Oh! Um. Right. Tread carefully by water's edge. The brine lurk... The, what, the brine lurk in deep waters, rivers, lakes, and seas, and instantly consume anyone or anything that wanders into their midst. If this fate befalls the Arisen, they'll be revived momentarily, but there are exceptions. Pawns become forfeit. All other living creatures are met with an immediate watery death. It's 
about time we pressed Mate. on, wouldn't you say, Master? Master. So there's no swimming. Right, got it. Okay. Could have told me that before. And now my goblin is... Oh, no, he's good. Okay. <sighs> is that a griffin? Another one. That's so cool. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> He's having a right old time, isn't he? Okay, so we'll use the bridge. Uh, I've a thought to share myself. Cool. Hesitation bogs you down, but it needn't. Your journey's just begun. Walk it proudly, and you'll do just fine. Thanks, Dad. Oh, yeah, we can do our new... Hang on. My new powers. Oh. Pawns are rendered immobile when their health falls to zero, unable to stir from where they have fallen without aid. If you leave them for a prolonged amount of time, they become forfeit and are removed from your party. The Risen can attempt to revive a pawn by approaching them and touching them. Multiple pawns lie immobile in the vicinity. The Risen can revive them simultaneously. Maximum health revived. One believes there is so many health. Okay. So I need to help you. Hey. Hey. the hell? I'm almost dead. Oh my gosh. Quick. That was literally like a killing blow, I think. My stamina. I literally cannot move right now. Oh my god. Why is everything so hard? Get up! Get up! Bobo, I need you! Revive! My gosh. Can't use any more of this. so difficult suddenly. Carry, there isn't... Uh, I don't think I have any more food. Well, great. <sighs> don't understand why they were suddenly so difficult. Maybe that's like a harder area. They absolutely made mincemeat of my goblin. Oh, we're right. I mean, we get another go. Goblins approach! Keep getting them. I need to get this thing. Auto no! She's done a sing. Thank you, Gobbo. Can I. How do I. Get her. Ah! Oh my gosh, my health. Show them all. Oh, high five. I think I'd be caught unaware. High five. I am shamed. I missed the chance. He was waiting. Oh, let's help these people. How horrible. Are 
you well. Not yet. So that makes my day, that does. I would fain aid you if you are in need. Okay. Good job. Saved ya. Might I interest you in my humble wares? What you got? Oars. No. Nope. Hope to see you again. Not a thing that I will be requiring. Hello? What? What is that? What's... Munching the bisons? <gasps> um... Okay. I don't want... It's gonna... Quick! <laughs> oh my god! Well, let's give it a go, Gobbo. Let's give it a best try. Oh dear. Instantly murdered. Right. I gotcha. Oh, no, I don't. My stamina is absolutely shot. I'm coming, buddy. Ah. I see. Well, looks like it's a pretty tough world, doesn't it? way. Mm -mm -mm. This way. Oh my. Okay. Um. Right. from me thanks for watching i think i took a wrong turn and ended up in absolute hardcore's fill there was just monsters everywhere every mob that i tried to take on here absolutely obliterated me so this is where i'm putting a pin in this one not fully sure if i'm going to return to this one i'll probably give it another go offline and see how i feel what do you think let me know in a comment what you think of the game so far if you're going to check it out if you'd like to see more on the channel and i'll see how i get on with it but yeah it's um definitely tough and definitely a little bit framey um but it's interesting i think some people are really going to get into this one and enjoy it Either way, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. There are some on the screen right now if you want to go on another adventure with me. But until next time, good night.